Hello everyone, my name is Luke, aka Mr. Rage, and uh, welcome back to another one of my gameplay videos. Um, so today we are going to be playing Ludo, the demo. Um, so, a little bit of a quick backstory. Ludo is an upcoming psychological horror game that is very much inspired by PT. So, this is uh, basically another... Um, typical haunted house horror game um i have played the demo before um so i know how to solve all the puzzles and everything because this demo does contain a lot of puzzles and figuring stuff out but um yeah so without further ado uh, let's get straight into it Okay, so one thing that you're probably going to notice right off the bat is this game looks absolutely incredible. Um, for a small indie uh, development team, uh, Broken Bird Games, by the way, that, that's the name of uh, this game's developer, Broken Bird Games. Um, this game's graphics look incredible. Uh, I hope to God that the graphics of this game will stay the same when the final release comes out. Like, I'm really hoping that everything that we see here in the demo doesn't change in the final release the performance is great as well the game runs at a very stable 60 frames per second at least i think um so yeah the, the game looks incredible like these graphics are insane i i love how this game looks frame rate is very stable i'm sure you can already already tell the, the frames are incredibly stable so good frame rate good uh resolution good graphics um that's already a huge pro for this game graphics performance everything is good um visuals in terms of graphics the game is very graphically pleasing But uh, yeah, this uh, obviously this is a demo. Um, this is not the full game. Uh, for anyone who is wondering, the game will be coming out this year in 2024. There's no exact release date yet, but the game will be coming in 2024. Hopefully, maybe around March, April, or May. I'm I'm hoping it'll come out on then. So, yeah, here we go. Now the actual game begins. Now, for anyone who has played Visage or Madison or Infliction, uh, this game is basically in the same vein of those uh, previous games I just mentioned. This is a haunted house game. Um, now, one thing I'll say right now that I kind of don't like about Ludo is the concept of the game. Um, according to the developers themselves, the game is more about depression and anxiety and losing a loved one um, than actual, like, ghosts and demons and all that other supernatural shit. Uh, but like I said earlier, the game does have ghosts, so I'm, I'm just kind of confused. Uh, I'm kind of confused on why the game has that concept. And not only that, but that concept also kind of irritates me. Like, I, I, I kind of don't like it when developers try and use mental illness as the concept for a horror game or a horror movie oh and by the way this game has a shit ton of easter eggs like right here for example you, there's beetlejuice there's a i don't know what that's from uh there was supposed to be an exorcist easter egg around here somewhere there's jaws i think that's a reference to amityville i think that's right oh there it is there's the exorcist one that's a reference to freddy krueger uh, and you can also see Ghostface over there. Yeah, I love the Easter eggs in this room. This room has, like, so many Easter eggs. 
there's Mugwai. Um, Batman, there's the Xenomorph. Godzilla. I think Predator's supposed to be around here somewhere. Uh, there's Chucky, there's Wednesday. There's the evil version of the, the Gremlins. I, I remember there being Predator in here somewhere, but I, I, I can't seem to find it. But anyways, um, yeah, so l like I said, this game looks like it's going to be great. I have a lot of hope for this game. Um, I, I just hope that the game actually doesn't end up being about what I think it's going to be about. Like, I'm hoping that the game will actually be about ghosts and demons instead of depression and anxiety because to me that doesn't sound like a good concept for any type of horror media you know i that i just kind of find that as a bit of a an annoyance because so many other horror games and horror movies use that that same concept and it it, it just it kind of bugs me you know because i feel like that's not i feel like that shouldn't be used as the concept for a horror movie because in my opinion i feel like that's kind of like propaganda instead of actually writing a good horror story so uh, other than that though like other than that this game it's probably going to be great like i i i could already imagine this this is going to be like the the next big pt inspired game that will actually be really scary for people at least i hope uh if you guys haven't haven't played the demo already uh it is available on playstation right now so uh just go on your playstation your ps5 download the demo play it out for yourself and let me know what you think but uh yeah uh there should be a sprint button yeah they're not a sprint button your character cannot run in this game as a matter of fact uh th this this is the fastest your character could go so this is my character walking this is him running so the the, you cannot really run in this game. Uh, whoever the hell I'm playing as, this character runs slower than an average Resident Evil protagonist. So, yeah, no sprint button. That's definitely going to annoy some people, but, uh, you know, I, I can deal with it. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, it goes here. Or maybe not. Hold on a second. Was it this picture? Oh, yeah, there we go. The game has a very ominous feel. Like, I'll say that right now. The, the game has a very oppressive and ominous feel. Like the ambient music, the the creepiness of this fucking house. I mean, I don't even know if there's a house. I mean, this, there's chains everywhere and stuff. Like, the, the game has an incredibly creepy atmosphere. I'm hoping that when the game finally does release, they'll have, like, uh, random paranormal encounters like Visage and Madison had. Because that made those games so much more scarier than they already were. Although, I think the developers actually did say in a statement that th this game will focus more on story and atmosphere. So, yeah, that, that kind of disappoints me. Like, you know, that's something that does kind of disappoint me a bit because I enjoy the horror games that are more terrifying and scary than, you know, atmosphere. You know, I, I prefer the horror games that, are, that actually focus on the horror elements. I mean, I'm not saying this game isn't scary. It's very creepy. Like, it's it's a very creepy game. But in terms of being extremely scary, um, so far, no. And you guys are going to see that for yourselves. The game does not have a lot of scary moments, unfortunately. That is, like, the only creepy moment I've seen in this game. Okay, yes. Sheet Ghost. The game has fucking Sheet Ghost. I forgot to say that. But I was kind of waiting to reveal that because I wanted to keep that a surprise for you guys. The game does have Sheet Ghost.
that will no doubt freak some people out. Like, like one thing I'm going to say right now that's actually really impressive in this game is the sheet ghosts actually are creepy. And it's amazing because usually sheet ghosts are not even slightly scary to people anymore. But this game actually managed to make sheet ghosts kind of creepy again like they used to be when they were first even created in horror media back in the early 90s and stuff. Like, that, that's actually pretty impressive, I'll admit. Because that that was creepy. Like the sheet ghosts that you see, that the, the sheet ghosts that you're gonna see in this demo, they are pretty spooky and they are creepy. They don't chase you around and stuff like they like that one did just now. That was a that was actually a scripted moment. That whole thing was scripted. There's not any more chase sequences in this game, or the demo, I should say. I mean, like I said, I don't know how the game is going to turn out when the demo, I mean, when the full release finally comes. I mean, because this is just a demo, but still. I'm hoping that the demo, I mean, the release will be more scarier, though, because as of right now, uh, I don't find this demo very scary. It's creepy, yeah, it, it, it's creepy as hell, and it's downright oppressive at times, but um, in, in terms of being downright terrifying, like Visage or Madison or... Even Outlast, uh, this is not very scary. But a uh, huge shout out to the developers. Like, I, I don't want to be like, you know, I don't want to be trying to make it sound like I'm hating on a game. Like, a, a massive shout out to Broken Bird Games and the team that are working on Ludo because the, the, the graphics alone make this game awesome because I love horror games that have these type of graphics. And I'm sure the game will definitely be scarier when it does fully release, because this is just a demo. Okay, so... 074522... Okay, so that is part of the puzzle. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go upstairs. As you guys can see, that's the eye that the voice on the phone was talking about just then. <coughs> I'm coughing. Hmm. I really love the ambient sounds in this game. The ambient sounds make the atmosphere a lot more creepier. I, I think this is definitely going to be a great horror game when it fully does release. I, I, I definitely do think so. I just hope that they add more horror elements when the actual game does come out. Because, you know, I'm not saying the game isn't... I'm not saying the game isn't scary. It is, but I, I don't think it's scary enough. Like, if the full release of this game has more horror elements and less just walking around and solving puzzles, then I think this would definitely be probably one of the scariest games of 2024. Like, I'm actually willing to bet money on that. Like, if the full release has more horror elements and more spooky moments like with that ghost, yeah, this will probably be like the scariest game of 2024. This is very similar to Visage. Like, th this gave me instant Visage vibes. If anyone actually played Visage, then you guys will know why.
Yeah, that was like that's something straight out of Visage. Because Visage used that same puzzle with the TV like telling you what to do and stuff. Visage used that exact same puzzle. Um, for anyone on Xbox, unfortunately, the demo is not available on Xbox. The demo is exclusively on PlayStation and Steam. So, yeah, for anyone on Xbox, you will not be able to play this demo, unfortunately. I was kind of confused by that because I figured the demo would definitely be on uh, Xbox as well. But, unfortunately, it's not. Fucking hell. Okay, now that shit was frightening right there. Now that was actually pretty frightening. Oh, another Easter egg. I think, anyways. I've never seen that before in my previous playthrough. But yeah, that shit was frightening just there. That was actually kind of frightening. Seeing that fucking sheet ghost just crawl up the wall like that all demonic like that was pretty that was pretty spooky i think the final release will have ghosts in it I, I i got a feeling i just don't really like the description of the game you know with the game being about mental illness and all that like it, it kind of annoys me you know i'm hoping that that's not what the game is going to be about i'm hoping that the actual game will have ghosts in it and the game will actually be about ghosts instead of being about depression and anxiety and all that Dumb shit. Was it so painful? But uh, yeah, uh, for anyone who has not left in fear already, uh, let me know. What do you think about this game so far? Like, like, give me your honest opinion. What do you think about this game so far? I know I've got some horror fans on my channel. I, I know that not all of my fans are obsessed with Rockstar and GTA, because I'm not. I actually want to give a shout out to one of my uh, subscribers. Uh, for actually uh, requesting a video, a discussion video about how GTA 5 was going to have a lot of single player DLC, but fucking hell, but it was cancelled by Rockstar. A uh, huge shout out to that subscriber. I will be making that video soon.
Just follow the candle lights. Oh no. Oh, right, the pictures. I almost forgot. Okay, let's see if I remember. Uh... Yep, there we go. Do I have anything else in my inventory? Nope, okay. Damn, God's not answering and the devil's not answering. Hmm, must be busy. I want to go right, but okay. Yeah. 
and thank you broken bird games for giving us this amazing demo um again huge shout out to the developers of this game for giving us a great demo of what is going to be coming when the game fully releases um i think this was a great demo uh and, and my opinion on ludo i i think this is going to be a very dark and oppressive horror game i could already tell that the subject matter in this game is going to be very dark um, I, I, like I said, I just hope the game actually involves ghosts and the supernatural instead of just, you know, mental illness. Like, I, I understand that that's kind of a touchy subject, and I know that some people will disagree, but I really think it's kind of lame making mental illness the, the concept for a horror game or a horror movie. Like, I, it's been done to death so many times, and I know that a typical haunted house story would be cliche as well, but... I mean, look at games like Visage and Madison. Those games also have cliche concepts involving the supernatural, and those are two of the scariest games even on PlayStation. So, you know, but I, I, I could tell, I could easily tell that this is going to be a fantastic horror game when it fully releases. So, um, yeah. Uh, if you guys stuck by till the end and saw the whole video and you are still here, thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this demo and me playing it. Uh, I'll definitely be doing a full walkthrough of this game when it finally comes out. Like, without a doubt, I'll be doing a full walkthrough of Ludo when it does finally come out because I think this would be a fun game to play for you guys and maybe even a fun game to stream. Like, if I could stream this game, that would be even better. So, um, yeah, anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, gameplay walkthrough. I know I did. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, y'all. Peace.